When it comes to rear-wheel drive automatic transmissions, Chrysler Corporation has a lot of experience. From the first power flight in 1953 to the highly successful torque flight automatic transmission of the late 50s, 60s, and 70s, to the A500 four-speed automatic of the 80s, and the 42RE and 46RH automatic transmissions found in Dodge trucks and Jeep vehicles of the 90s. In this month's Master Tech, you'll get an in-depth look at Chrysler's latest in rear-wheel drive automatic transmissions, the 45 RFE. This all-new transmission is fully electronically controlled, ushering in a new era of transmissions for Chrysler vehicles, the customers that drive them, and the technicians who service them. After viewing this program, you'll be able to identify the 45 RFE transmission, as well as identify and describe its various mechanical, hydraulic, and electronic components. You'll also be able to explain how the 45 RFE's electronic controls operate its hydraulic and mechanical components. Additionally, you'll be able to describe some diagnostic procedures for the 45 RFE and some items related to service as well. You'll also know where to find additional information about the 45 RFE transmission in Chrysler Publications. The 45 RFE transmission has some features that are very different from other rear-wheel drive automatic transmissions. So, shift yourselves into learning gear and let's get started. Before we get into specifics about the 45 RFE transmission, let's take a high-level look at some of the features that make this unit different from other Chrysler transmissions. The 45 RFE is the first completely new corporate rear-wheel drive automatic transmission in more than 30 years. It is manufactured at a new facility that is dedicated to producing the 45 RFE, the Indiana Transmission Plant in Kokomo, Indiana. The 45 RFE designation tells us that the transmission has four forward speeds, a relative torque rating of five, is for use in rear-wheel drive vehicles, and is fully electronically controlled. The transmission case label includes a part number and an identification code for the 45 RFE transmission. The number stamped into the pan rail includes the Julian date, the year built, sequence number, and the part number. Proper identification of the transmission is important when you're ordering parts and when seeking technical assistance. The 45 RFE transmission was specifically designed for use with the new 4.7 liter V8 engine in light to medium duty Jeep vehicles and Dodge trucks. The first vehicle equipped with the 45 RFE transmission is the all new 1999 Jeep Grand Cherokee. The 45 RFE is fully adaptive which means that the transmission control module calibration learns to compensate for differences in hardware. The 45 RFE is fully electronic, with the TCM actuating different solenoids to apply clutches and control line pressure. This electronic control is clearly evidenced by the 23-way electrical harness connector on the driver's side of the transmission case. The operation of the 45 RFE is somewhat similar to Chrysler's electronically controlled transaxles that you may already be familiar with. The 45 RFE employs an engine torque management strategy during high throttle shifts, resulting in smoother, quicker shifts. That translates into better overall shift quality for the driver. Torque management also reduces wear on transmission components, which leads to increased durability. The 45 RFE uses no internal bands. Several different clutch assemblies are used instead. The input clutch assembly consists of an underdrive clutch, an overdrive clutch, and a reverse clutch. The 45 RFE also contains separate holding clutches, such as the second clutch and the fourth clutch, and the low reverse clutch. There's also a mechanical overrunning clutch. A new dual-stage fluid pump is another feature of the 45 RFE. The pump contains several valves that were previously located in the valve body. The 45 RFE operates on variable line pressure, which is based on torque requirement. This reduces pumping losses and improves fuel economy. 
It also allows the transmission to operate cooler, which results in increased durability. Another feature is the three planetary gear sets, one more than you're probably used to seeing. These planetary gears provide a deeper low gear ratio, and the 45 RFE doesn't need a separate overdrive unit. A unique characteristic of the 45 RFE is its alternate second gear ratio, or 2 prime as it is known. The 2 prime gear is enabled only during kickdown shifts, enhancing vehicle performance by allowing for a lower passing gear at highway speeds. Let's take a quick look at the 45 RFE's different gear ratios. In reverse and first, the gear ratio is 3 to 1. In second gear, the ratio is 1.67 to 1. The 2 prime gear has a ratio of 1.5 to 1, and there's a 1 to 1 gear ratio in third. In fourth gear, or overdrive, the ratio is 0.75 to 1. As you can see, the 45 RFE has some features that really set it apart from other transmissions. Before we look at its components in operation, try answering this review question. Where can you find the part number on the 45 RFE transmission? A, on the TCM label. B, stamped into the pan rail. C, scribed onto the input shaft. Or D, printed on the transmission case label. Stop the tape and see if you can come up with a correct response. Both B and D are the correct answers. You can find the part number either on the case label or at the end of the number stamped into the pan rail. You've already seen that the 45 RFE transmission has some features that make it stand out among other rear wheel drive automatic transmissions, much of it due to its electronic control. Let's take a closer look at the 45 RFE, starting with its hydraulic and mechanical components, then moving to its electronic parts. For starters, the 45 RFE has a new torque converter that features needle-type thrust bearings to reduce internal friction. A dual-stage fluid pump is also new. The pump has three gears, one drive gear and two driven gears. The pump provides ample pressure through both the primary and secondary stages at low speeds. At higher speeds, only the primary stage is needed to supply pressure. At that time, the secondary stage is put into recirculation. The pump assembly contains control valves, such as the converter clutch switch valve and converter clutch regulator valve. Also located within the pump assembly are the pressure regulator valve, and the torque converter limit valve, which were previously found in the valve body. Placing these two hydraulic control valves closer to the pressure source improves line pressure control. Their position in the pump assembly also eliminates some of the hydraulic circuits to and from the valve body. The 45 RFE's valve body, like all valve bodies, directs the flow of transmission fluid to apply and release different clutches. Located in the valve body is the manual valve, which directs fluid to the appropriate hydraulic circuit based upon the position of the shift lever. The manual valve has four positions, park neutral, reverse, drive, and too low. The 45 RFE valve body also holds the low reverse switch valve, which separates the circuits for reverse and for all other manual valve positions. The valve body contains a solenoid switch valve, which routes fluid to either the low reverse clutch or torque converter clutch control port. In park, neutral, and low, the solenoid switch valve directs fluid